Hi, Leo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your April 2021 money and career reading for you. Now, I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload new videos, and I upload all the time, just hit the bell notification button. And if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed and linked in the description box below. Now, before I begin this reading and clear the energy space, once again, a reminder not to be scammed by anybody in the comment box pretending to be me offering you a reading. This person is a scammer. Don't be scammed. I will not be soliciting you for anything. With that said, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negative energy. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right. Let's let the bull sing as we see what the tarot has to say. Leo, April 2021. Money and Career, Leo. April 2021, Money and Career, Leo. Angels and Spirit Guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and Spirit Guides. Brilliant. Okay, and let's look at the chakra energy for this time. Leo. April 2021, money and career. Leo. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. Wonderful. And then... We have the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. What is the energy that Leo needs to be mindful of? April 2021, money and career, Leo. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Fantastic. We're going to start off with the tarot. We are crowned here by the two of cups. Oh, that's really interesting because the world starts to, the world is starting to open through a unity, through a coming together. We have the seven of pentacles. There's a need for patience. The star, which is Aquarius energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Time frame, January 20th to February 18th. But it's also a wish that starts to come forward. And it's a wish that starts to come true. Then we have the star and the sun coming together. The sun is the happiest card in the whole entire deck. We have the queen of cups coming forward, which is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But there is a sense of, of love and connection and unity. The Eight of Wands, things start coming at us fast. Okay. Very interesting. We're crowned here, not crowned, but the chakra energy is, is the sacral chakra, and it is flexibility. There's a need to go with the flow. Why? Because things are coming at you so fast during this time. If you don't kind of, if you don't move with it, it'll break you. And that's not that's not something we want, Leo. We want to remain strong and competent and confident as we move forward. But if it's like, it has to be exactly this way, that's going to be the thing about this time. It's not. It's not exactly the way that we want it. It's the way that divinity wants it. And the sacral chakra, talking about flexibility. Now, the sacral chakra is where we keep all the negative energy. It's where we bottle everything up, which really does impact us because this is 
from this life, from past lives, this negative energy, it builds and it builds and it builds. And the sacral chakra is also where we hold a lot of our creativity, but also our sexual energy. So if we are too blocked within the sacral chakra, the world doesn't have the sensuality that we really wanted to have, the beauty that we really wanted to have. So a focusing on the sacral chakra, but also if we get up every morning and just do kind of this, oh, this salutation pose, I don't know if it is a salutation pose, but this kind of balancing on, on one foot kind of tree pose to be able to see how balanced we are within the day. And if we wobble and if we shake, you know, that's going to be a really good indication that we need to center ourselves, that we need to do breathing exercises, that we need to, you know, kind of connect with ourselves more, more kindly during the day as we move forward. So that's also going to be a very good way to gauge things during this time. And then the energy that we need to be mindful of that's going to try and destroy us quite quite literally, is this is Pisces energy, February 19th to March 20th, but I don't see it as a Pisces kind of coming to get you. It's it's going to be this energy of fear. Now, this could be fear mongers, these people who really just like having people get upset and afraid and, and really kind of stoke that fire. But this is also a sense of our own fears getting in the way. What if I can't? What if I fail? What if things fall apart? You know, how do I move forward? Where is it that I want to be? The fear can be really intense during this time. And it doesn't have to manifest itself necessarily in this overwhelming fear. It can manifest itself in worry, in doubt, in, in a sense of, oh my gosh, you know, <sighs> chaos and upset coming forward. So that's going, to be, that's going to be really interesting because what we need to do here is look at the fear and, and see it for what it is. See it as holding a lot of our subconscious fears, a lot of our conscious fears, and say, you don't get to control me because we're going to try, people are going to try and control us through fear during this time. And we just have to be very aware of that. We are crowned with unity. We are crowned with healing. We are crowned with things coming together. And the first thing I saw was that love was uniting us in the world and that we were looking into the world. So it was kind of like the two of wands overlapping the, the two of cups. And I thought that was so terribly interesting. There is a sense here of, of beauty coming together. But there is a sense of uniting with our own power, with our own voice, with a healing that moves us forward within this world. And this unity really does connect us straight to our root where it's saying things are speeding up. You know, we're going to be kind of on a little bit of a wild ride. With regards to career, the career is speeding up most definitely. And we need to embrace, embrace our greater understanding with it. Like, embrace this connection with ourselves, with our dreams, with what we desire, but also with our wishes and our hopes, our expectations, you know, and, and our blessings, because people are going to want to take us by eyes during this time and say, well, what, what makes you so important? What makes you so, so popular? And why aren't I? The seven of pentacles is very interesting because it says, be patient. During this time, when it comes to finances, the money might not be there the way that we want it to during this time. And Spirit is saying, be patient. Don't, you know, don't jump the gun because you're thinking, oh, well, I can get better over there or I, if I do this, you know, it will come out more because there's going to be an opportunity to be rather sneaky during this time and do some rather kind of sneaky things and it just won't work out well. Now, that could be a message for one very specific person during this time where Spirit's like, no, step back, look at what you want, look at where you're headed and know that divinity has a plan and that this is opening up doors for you in a very real way and in a very powerful way. The seven of pentacles is also all the hard work that we put into something and thinking, oh my gosh, this is never going to come to fruition, is it? This is a time where we start to see the hard work beginning to pay off. It's not going to pay off instantaneously. It's not going to pay off exactly the way that we want it to, but it is going to start paying off. It is going to start leading us forward. It is going to start guiding us in in a very powerful way. So just be mindful of that. Also, there is a sense for, for some of us, it can be that it's like a group project that we're working on or that, you know, our boss has said, you need to figure this out. During this time, we'll be able to step back and we'll be able to figure things out more readily, more easily than we had thought we would. We're really good at problem solving. People are going to get jealous of that because they're going to be like, well, I could have thought of that or, oh my gosh, that was too simple. That's why I didn't think of it. And they're going to try and put you down. Don't let them, okay? Because if they put you down and make you think, oh, well, maybe it wasn't that great an idea, 
they've planted those seeds of fear, those seeds of doubt, those seeds of worry, and they have you exactly where they want you, which is in a weaker position. The unity that's coming in is also the sense of connecting with our own success, with our own strengths. The sun, the sun, the star, which I mean is the sun is our closest star. So that that's really beautiful. The sun is our closest star. And there's a sense of wishes coming forward. There's a sense of, of balance and of harmony as this light shines on us more intensely during this time. The, the sun has a way of bringing out our very best qualities. But because we do have the insecurities that come forward, we're going to doubt our very best qualities. And we're also going to doubt, you know, do I get to have the success? Do I get to have this bounty? Do I get to have this, this beauty within my life? The answer is absolutely yes. Don't don't overthink it during this time. Don't overthink it. Don't overanalyze it. Just, again, and I hear Spirit saying, just remind them that, you know, to go for the gold, but to do it in a way that aligns them with their, their skills and their prosperity and their power and their understanding. It's kind of like if it sounds too good to be true during this time, it's going to be. And we just don't want to be kind of scammed. We just really don't. The Queen of Cups is coming in. The Queen of Cups is healing. The Queen of Cups is also a connection with love and with your own personal skill set. And I know that sounds odd to say, but everybody brings something a little bit different to the table, even if they were trained the exact same way. Because of the way we interpret things, because of the way we see things, because of individuality, we are all going to do things just a little bit differently. The Queen of Cups is that union to love, is that union to not only taking care of the self, but also kind of connecting with other people. During this time, you're going to be really good at being that missing link, okay? Of being that person who can bridge gaps, who can talk to people, who can make things more accessible. And this is going to be a time where that's super important. And we want to really utilize the school, the skill in a very powerful way, in a very real way. So there is going to be this way that we just connect and it's going to be just, we can connect with, it's going to be with others. I was just going to say, we connect with our boss, but it's, it's not necessarily going to be with your boss. I mean, unless you, you work for yourself and you're going to be connecting with yourself really, really well, there is the sense of being able to connect with those that you're working, working with, those who are the clients. There's just going to be a way that you have with them, this ease that you have with them that brings this unity. You make them feel special. You make them feel welcome and wanted and, and cared for. So that's going to be something that you really need to, to utilize during this time. And it doesn't matter if you spend your whole day like behind a desk, there's going to be this, this little extra something that you bring, that you bring to the table that people are really going to, to appreciate. Okay. So just be mindful of that. And if you're starting something on the side, the way that you connect with people, the way that you, yeah, the way that you connect with them, the kind of customer service that you give is going to be really quite extraordinary. And you want to, you want to know that that's one of your, your strong suits during this time. The eight of wands, careers changing, careers speeding up. You might find yourself deciding to start something new, go back to classes for something or changing careers altogether. You just have to line everything up in a row. Everything is speeding up. And it's kind of like ready or not, here it comes. You might not be as ready for it as, as you thought you were, but with the intensity that brings you forward, it's like, oh, okay, okay, I can see this. Oh, okay, I can, I can kind of get this. There is also a sense here of, of something more than you realized coming forward and being swept up in that in that sense of a powerful understanding, in that sense of, of, of drive. There can also be this person who really takes an interest in you, and that can be this Queen of Cups energy, this person who's very nurturing, very caring. This is also mentor energy, okay? So we can find ourselves being a mentor for somebody else, but also mentors start coming in. And it doesn't mean that they have to be people that work with us, we can find the greatest inspiration from people that we never meet, all right? But that we we learn from, we, we listen to their work, we under we understand them. And this is going to be something that really starts to speed up the way that we move forward because it gave us new insight. It has, has us looking at things with new eyes. The spirit message for this time, let's see here. Leo, April 2021, Money and Career. Angels and Spirit Guides. Fantastic. 
So we have magical coming through again. We had that with, with cancer. So if you're born on the Leo cancer cup, cusp, this is going to be a magical time for you. It's going to be like, oh my gosh, you know, it's just kind of like you have that lucky star, you have that wishes come true kind of mentality. This is a time to take risks. It's, it's also to be patient. And again, not foolhardy risks, not like the get rich scheme type of thing, but this is a time to take risks. This is a time to, to go for it, to jump, to see, to discover, because you will find that there's always wisdom that comes your way exactly when you need it. And that you are truly connected to divinity, to the universe, to your power, to your understanding, and things start moving, moving forward and you can get swept away. So magically, there is a sense of it being kind of a golden time for you. Then we have the spirit animal message. Leo, April 2021, money and career. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And here we have the horse spirit. Freedom is yours. And that's what you need. Freedom of discovery, but also freedom to progress within your career, within what you want. There, there needs to be that sense of, of freedom and coming together. The subconscious spirit animal message is the flamingo. Embrace the in-between. Nothing is going to be black and white during this time. It's going to be the myriad shades of gray that are so important. So important. It's like everything that's unsaid. What is that, that saying? God is in the in-between. It's not in the words but it's in the breath in between. And you're going to find that a lot of what you connect with is in the in-between of things, not things that are actually said, but things that are felt, that are manifested. The subconscious spirit message is, is fairy tale. It's living for the fairy tale. It's, yeah, it is living for the fairy tale. It's saying there gets to be wonder, there gets to be beauty, there gets to be, be, be power within this world that lies within the tales of old within the fairy tales, the original fairy tales, not just the, the Disney fairy tales. So there's going to be a real importance here. And you might even find yourself being very drawn to old stories, to folklores and mythologies, things that were foundational understandings for, for who we are and who we were. The subconscious, yeah, chakra message. is personal power. This is the solar plexus chakra. We're going to find that when we go with our gut reaction, when we embrace our personal power, when we look at things with tenacity and insight, we can keep on plowing forward. Don't let others discourage you, dismay you, you know, silence your voice. There's, there's power here. Let it shine. The subconscious person message is the king of wands. This is you shining through. Now, what's going to happen during this time is that you have other people who want to be the boss, right? Or maybe who are the boss, who want to tell you what to do. It's going to be a little bit hard to really listen to them because you're going to have such good ideas and they really are such good ideas, okay? So what we need to do is kind of like step back and say, can I listen to you? Not can I listen to this person, but do I have to take everything they say as gospel? No. You know, can I, can I tweak things a little bit? Can I look at things differently? But also, what is the knowledge that I am accumulating that I can use for later? Because I am moving forward, especially in my career, to be the boss, to be the person who, who holds the power. And it doesn't mean that you have to go off and start your own business if you don't want to. Don't do it at all. But there's a real sense of being the truly skilled one, and people will know it, and people will seek you out because of it. The subconscious tarot message is the seven of swords. The seven of swords can be being a little bit sneaky during this time. And that's just going to be like, I have to organize everything. I have to get everything going. I don't want to tell everybody my business. The seven of swords is also gathering up everything that you need and leaving some things behind. You don't need to carry them anymore and seeing where the road takes you. The repeat of the number seven means that truth is going to be intrinsically important during this time, but it is also going to be a time where you can get called out very easily. And, and people will be like, it has to be fair. And you look at them and be like, I am being fair. Why are you kind of picking on me when you're not talking about the other person who could have done the exact same thing? Seven just has this way of, of pushing us to the forefront and having people say, it has to be fair. So during this time, if we look at it and say it has to be fair, but it also has to be discerning. Like I can't give up 
everything for everybody else. And I don't expect them to do that for me, okay? All right. All right, Leo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all, and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the, the beauty that is coming our way. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo.